what's going on guys welcome back to another review today we have an awesome figure to check out and i'm super excited for this one it's mafex's gambit and mafex has been doing a great job with their x-men characters to this point and this one in particular i just think it looks amazing so real quick let's just take a moment also to appreciate the window on this box marvel legends collectors my condolences but this is packaged very nicely with great images of the figure throughout and it's very well done overall. So without any further ado, let's take this stud out of the box and let's get a better look. So here we have them out the box and first impressions are great. Very promising so far. The figure feels sturdy in your hands and it's just eye catching. Very beautiful to look at. They really nail the aesthetics of Gambit, in my opinion. I think it's the best representation of him to date in terms of action figures. The sculpt is just perfect. I mean, obviously it's articulated, so there's places where the look is compromised, but it's just executed very well. So let's take a look at him with his other head sculpt, which is also really good. The expression doesn't change a whole lot. I wish it was a bit more noticeable but it looks really good also i wish we could have got at least one more head sculpt with like an open mouth yelling face or something like that because it seems like most of the budget was put towards all the effect pieces which you'll see later are a bit redundant in my opinion so let's see the head sculpts right next to each other as they both look great but as you can see they're not widely different on um, the face with the gritted teeth the eyebrows are slightly different and the hair may be slightly in a different position it's kind of hard to tell but it's it might even be the same hair so maybe if the hair was a little bit more like um like windblown or something or kind of like more messed up it would look even more different but they're still very well painted very look at the stubble on the face the eyes are painted very nicely the line work along the line the mask on the face also done very very nicely so kudos to them for that okay so moving on to the extra set of hands it brings and it's these with the hand kind of open and then these are slightly open but it has two fingers closed these are wide open and then it brings another set of fisted hands but these actually have a hole in them so you can pour it to stick through it and then lastly it brings these with the, the little notches attached to the hand so you can add the effect pieces to it so it looks like they're coming out of his hands all right so also included are like these charged up kinetic cards that he can hold or you can have him posing like he's throwing them um they look pretty good they're not really super detailed as the cards aren't like they don't have a number on them or you know they could have like a suit on them like diamonds or spades something on it to kind of like make you really see that it's a card although you should know it's a card if it's gambit but a lot of other times i've seen them um done a bit better also it includes this much bigger effect piece where he's throwing multiple cards and it has like a bit of energy attached to it and it brings this little stand to help prop that up because it is pretty heavy. So you do need that if you want to display it in different dynamic poses where it's kind of like being held up. So I'm glad that they included that. And it also brings this other card effect piece, which is very similar to the first one I showed. It just has less detail. So here's where I could have gone without one of these two and maybe given us an extra head and not given us this like maybe less detailed one because so similar in shape to the other one it's just less detailed and then of course it also brings this nice beautiful stick which is uh, one of gambit's staples he always has his bow staff with them and it brings some kinetic energy pieces that you can pour onto the tips so that you can give it that look like of charge like it's charging up like if gambit's putting that kinetic energy into it and it's kind of like just oozing energy off the tips so yeah that looks pretty dope very well done and nicely painted as well all right now moving on to one of my favorite aspects of this figure and it's the soft goods cape it really makes the figure pop and it's just nicely done it has a nice texture to it um, I'm glad that they did it soft goods because 
it just doesn't work good when you have a character with a huge cape like this and or jacket in this case but either or capes or jackets when they're really big it hinders the articulation when it's just like a solid piece of plastic <clears throat> that's not very moldable or not very pliable so to have a soft goods cape that can pose like this it just it makes it really really pop and it's just much more dynamic with the poses you can pull off are more realistic because you can you can move the jacket to fit the movements that your character is posing in as opposed to just having that static um static plastic sitting there you know so let's take the jacket off real quick it's easy enough to do you just put his arms to the back and you can pull it off quite easily but yeah you can see that all the details are there there's nice stitch work throughout you can see the lines stitched nicely there's no like loose pieces of string hanging off that can unravel it it's just nicely done and they did the cuffs nicely as well it has a nice button on it could stand on its own look at that it's kind of like dr strange's so now that we have the coat off let's take a look at gambit's aesthetics underneath which are very good too i think that they used very very high quality paints on this um it just looks so clean and finished um nice metallic looking paint that they used it pops very very well and they did a great job painting it it's nice and clean they added washes where they needed to be like here in the blue has nice and black the lines are painted great um it's kind of hard to find any imperfections because they just did such a good job pretty good quality control with this figure here and overall it just looks so nice look at it it's very very beautiful okay so let's move into the articulation now he can look up this much that's pretty good there. He can look down a whole bunch. Um, it's more maybe neck movement that we're getting than actual head movement, but the combination of the two really give you good side to side and good up and down. It's just really well done. I love the way Mafex does their necks and head combos. The arm can go full 360. It can go up this much. We've got cut at the bicep swivel. We've got a butterfly joint that works decent enough. Seems to work more up and down than side to side, but gives you more range. We got a deep bend in the elbow. I like that very much. The wrist has a swivel and a hinge. Works well enough. Now the chest has a swivel and it has a crunch as well. And the abs also have a nice deep crunch to it and a swivel that gives you a nice deep bend to it. I, I really like the way that they're doing that there. Legs can kick up this much here. We've got a double bend at the knee can go about that much. You can swivel it within the ball joint inside there. I'm not sure what to call that. There's toe articulation. And there's a swivel and a hinge at the foot. So overall, the, the figure poses really well. I like it, and it feels nice and sturdy. The points of articulation are all really buttery smooth. It's just really good. Um, maybe a little bit in my chest. Not chest, but the ab swivel. Not the crunch. The crunch works good, but the swivel is a little tight. Other than that, it's just really, really well done. So great job for articulation. So now for comparisons, here we have him next to his girl, Rogue. This is a Marvel Legends figure, and I do think that they fit decently together. Of course, his quality is a bit higher than hers, but they look well enough together. And as for now, there's no Rogue in the Mafex line, so this is going to have to do. Moving on, here he is next to Cyclops and Wolverine. In the same line, the Mafex line, which I really love the way X, the X-Men figures have been coming out on this Mafex line. I have Jean Grey coming and I've ordered Storm and Magneto as well. I miss Psylocke. Hopefully I get another chance to pick up Psylocke, but I really love the way that they're doing them. So keep them coming, Mafex. Good job on those. All right. So final thoughts on this figure. It's actually one of my favorite figures to date. I just think that they did an amazing job overall with it. 
from the sculpt of it to the painted details just has a great finish to it they gave us a nice amount of accessories um it's just only missing one extra head sculpt with the screaming face that would have really really made it perfect but aside from that the posing and detailing the paint job the sculpt is just on point and that soft goods jacket is just amazing you can really pose it however you want you can pretty much put it where you want and it's gonna stay so nicely done i mean if you guys can get your hands on this i recommend you buy it because it's definitely the best gambit that i've taken a look at um the only one i haven't seen is the mesco one but every other gambit that i've ever had it's it just pales in comparison to this one so very happy to have this thank you has i mean not hasbro thank you mafex for making this great great job um, thank you guys for watching. Also, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want. Take care and peace.